when I was just starting out, I didn't have any idea about when I was supposed to work or how to structure my day as an artist. I, I, so I looked around and what I thought was the rule to follow was, well, people who are successful, um, pretty much everyone follows a nine to five schedule. They get to work at nine and that seems to work. So I tried to do that and uh, I did that for a while and it really didn't work for me. <laughs> you know, it wasn't, it wasn't very fun. And after a while, I started to realize that this rule of working nine to five wasn't, wasn't actually good for me. I mean, it seemed, I don't know why everyone was doing it actually. I, I discovered that the best time for me to work wasn't at nine o'clock in the morning. <laughs> um, what I discovered was that if I ran and went outside in the morning and became inspired and worked in the afternoon, I would do much better. And this idea, this story illustrated the fact that I, I was starting to understand the difference between a rule um, and a principle. So this is Nicholas Wilton in Art to Life, and, and that's what I want to share with you right now. It's something that really changed my whole way of being, learning the difference between rules and principles. So the rule of, of going to nine to five to work didn't really work for me, but the principle, the principle, the underlying principle is we should work when we can make, do our best work. We want to make our best work. That's what I was, that was my goal to, to do art in the best way I knew how. So that principle, when you have a principle as opposed to a rule, uh, it invites creativity. So my question became, if I'm not going to follow this rule, how? How do I make my art? Um, what works for me? What, you know, there's all kinds of room in there now to customize things. So that, that's what I sort of focus on teaching, actually. That's how I teach. I teach using principles, not rules. And I thought I would share um, three or four ideas here that I think are, are there's underlying principles uh, to them that are positive and helpful and can really shift your art once you understand them. And they invite creativity in because it's, it's really up to you to use a principle in the way that works best. Take what you can use and leave the rest. So the first idea is, and this is what I believe and this is what I teach and this is from my experience, is that if you sh can show more of yourself in your art and you can learn how to do that, it's it's going to improve. It's going to resonate more out in the world. It's going to rise to the surface of all the other work out there. The underlying principle that is down there that this is relying on is the fact that when you make something that's authentic, when you make something that's personal to you, because you're different, um, that will make art that hasn't been seen before. And everyone in the world, you included, want are, are attracted to things that they haven't experienced before. Everyone wants something new and different. It makes us feel alive. So that principle, um, so now the question becomes how, how, how do I make my art more like me, right? It's, it's not a rule, it's a principle, but that's a super powerful idea. And that's at the core of all my teaching. Um, the second idea is that unlike most things in, in the world, when we make a mistake in art, um, it's actually really good. It's really positive and it can totally accelerate your, um, your, your art making and, and your career and the reputation and, and those who follow you and those who collect your work. The underlying principle in that is that when we, when we show up and we really try hard and we make mistakes and we're just winging it, there's a vulnerability that's exposed. That vulnerability is what people connect to. They can feel it. They can feel it in your work and they can feel it in your earnest efforts. There's a humility it cre creates. It, it makes you more accessible. Everyone makes mistakes. And when you do, people connect to it. But you can feel art that is on the edge where, yeah, some of it's amazing, but some of it's just almost amazing and some of it's breaking down a little, that's a powerful place for your art to be in. It makes super exciting work that engages, but 
but it's that vulnerability that's under the surface. That's what's resonating. That's what's connecting to people. Um, uh, the third idea is that uh, we make um, progress faster and easier when, by asking for help, not just struggling and doing everything and learning just from our experiences. This took me way too long to learn, you know, but this, that principle, the underlying idea here is that there's people further ahead of you that can turn around and help you a little bit. And what that does is, you know, the, the principle here is that when you shift your thinking, when your thinking changes, it can change because you've done 150 paintings the wrong way and then you finally realize you'll never forget. <laughs> or somebody can suggest something and that can shift your thinking. But that's what changes your art. And there's, there's, you know, yes, you learn from experience, but if you can supplement that with information from people who are further ahead of you, it's really fast and really furious and your art can take off. And I love that because that's, you know, that's, that's what I'm interested in teaching. Principles, principles that can move the needle in your art making. Um, so we have a couple days left. Uh, this is, as you know, I'm sure you know, we're in the middle of, uh, of offering the 2021 Creative Visionary Program. It's our 12 week program. It's how we teach. It's this idea of principles. What are the principles I need, you need, to make your art, transform your art during this time? All the information, and yes, it's coupled with who you are, your experiences, whether you're a beginner, advanced, you're gonna supplement it with powerful um, you know, information that can really, really make a difference. So we've got a couple days left. I am so excited. Uh, I've, I've glanced over so many of the alums who are here, so many of the people that are joining us this year. It's going to be an amazing, amazing year. I'm so excited to start, which is actually next week. So um, I hope you can join us. And um, uh, we're, we're, this bus is leaving. We're leaving. I think it's on Thursday. <laughs> so again, we have a few more days. Um, looking forward to seeing you on the inside. Click on the link below. Check it out. And regardless, um, Super appreciate you being here. Um, I'm gonna continue teaching right here every Sunday, offering stuff, learning from you and, and teaching as well. Also, uh, for those of you who have done the Creative Visionary program, you know we've been doing it five or six years now. Um, I'd be curious if you just leave a comment and let me know, let all of us know, you know what are, what's the basic, what's one of the pr primary principles that you learned that, that has been super, super helpful for, for you? in your art and, and your pr progress. Because um, this is a, incredible. Lots of people can read these and then they can get them and use them as well. So um, go ahead and leave those in the comments if, uh, if you can. I'd super appreciate that. Thanks for being here. Hey everyone, if you found this helpful, I have a whole lot more to teach, share, and inspire you with every single week. So please join the Art to Life YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button below. Okay, great. Let's do this.